Isaiah is an amazing man. He truly is. He's an amazing prophet. He understood what God was telling him and he dictated from the Holy Spirit the word Isaiah, the word of God. And the, the 66 chapters are absolutely stunning. In fact, you can go to the scroll uh, museum today in Israel and see Isaiah if you want to on the Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh, I, I've read a portion of it from a Hebrew Bible and it's amazing because it compares with a modern Hebrew Bible in the ancient text dated to about 150 BC. I mean, 2000 years old, that text. And it's the same. It's unbelievable. Anyway, uh, listen to what Isaiah says. He says, cry aloud, cry aloud, do not hold back. Now, I thought about that and I realized, wait a minute, don't hold back. You see, whenever we speak in front of people, whenever we speak, we always have filters on. And the filters are to keep us, you know, from exposing too much of ourselves. But here Isaiah says, expose yourself. Let it be known. Do not hold back. Release yourself in front of God. Now that's something that's really stunning. Get your Bible guide out and turn to today's passage as we study this. This is absolutely amazing. Your Bible guide, if you don't have one, you can use the address when you write to us. You can also go to www.biblediscoverytv.com and click on donate. Make a donation in any amount and it'll take you straight to the Bible guide. But as we focus on this, we think about the ways of truth. Now, God is speaking to us truth. The Bible says that his words are true, that God is true. And so the question is, what does the Lord want? That is the most asked question. When I was pastoring, I would get that question pretty much about every Sunday. <laughs> what does God want from me? And, uh, you know, it's so obvious. It's, it's interesting because as we begin to read and see and understand the Bible, we can see what God wants right away. God wants your life. He wants you to commit yourself to him as Lord. Make him the Lord of your life, as I have done with myself. And I think that we need to understand that. We read Isaiah 57 to 59 as we continue going through the Bible and we're coming up on the 66th chapter. It's really interesting. But today we're going to look at Isaiah 58, 1 through 12. Father, I pray that you would speak today. I pray that you would show us your ways. Teach us your paths that we would be willing to listen to you, willing to hear the word of God and change. Help us to do that, especially today, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, be with those who do not know you, who are watching this broadcast right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Now listen carefully to the word of God. Listen carefully to Isaiah. Isaiah 58 verse one says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet. Tell my people their transgression. He says, open yourself up and tell my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and did not forsake the ordinance of their God. They ask of me the ordinances of justice they, make, or they take delight in approaching God. Why have we fasted, they say, and you have not seen? Why have we afflicted our souls and you take no notice? In fact, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure and exploit all your laborers. Indeed, you fast for strife and debate and to strike with the fist of wickedness. You will not fast as you do this day to make your voice heard on high. Is it a fast that I have chosen a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head like a bulrush and to spread out his sack out sackcloth and ashes? Would you call this a fast an acceptable day to the Lord? Man, that's an, that's it. That's an impossible to think through. I mean, in humility, we must ask the Lord, how can I help you? How can I help God? What can I do? God says to the people of Israel, he says, you fast and you desire and you come to me and you say, why aren't you answering me? Because basically you're being disobedient because you're not practicing what God has told you in the law of Moses. You're not practicing what I've said when I said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. 
Now we come to Isaiah 6, 58, 6 to 10. Is this not the fast that I've chosen? God's going to tell them. To loose the bonds of wickedness. To loose the bonds of wickedness. To undo the heavy burdens. To let the oppressed go free. And that you may break the yoke. Is it not to share your bread with the hungry? And that you bring your, to your house the poor who are cast off when you see the, them naked? That you cover him? And not hide yourself from your own flesh. Then your light shall break forth like, like the morning. Your, your healing shall spring forth speedily. And your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. And then you shall call and the Lord will answer you. You shall cry and he will say, here I am. For if you take away the yoke from your midst and the pointing finger and the speaking of wickedness, if you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your light shall dawn in the darkness and your darkness shall be as noonday. Now listen carefully. Our darkness will become light when we consider differently how to respond to crisis. So many people respond to crisis by simply doing things. My response to crisis is the spiritual crisis, as well as the physical crisis, as well as the emotional crisis. Beloved, we need to hear what this says to us. Now, I want you to look carefully at these last two verses. Listen carefully. This is what God will do when we submit ourselves to God and do what he says. The Lord will guide you and continually he will guide you and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. Those from among you shall build the old waste places. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of the streets to dwell in. Isaiah 58, now listen carefully. There are great rewards if we concentrate our efforts on fixing problems instead of complaining. Everybody and his dog and his lizard and his captain, everybody's a complainer. We always complain. He said that, they said that, they said that, they did that. Stop it. As believers in Jesus Christ, we need to pray and solve the problem. Pray and fix the problem. God, help us in Jesus' name to do that. Help us, Lord, to stop complaining and mouthing off everything on social media and everything else. Help us to stop and fix the problem in Jesus' name. Thanks for watching. Remember, check out the full episode of Quick Study and follow us on social media. Start your daily devotional today.